Good morning to you, Rob. Well, good morning to our 8 o'clock viewers. You know, the county definitely stepping up enforcement, as you mentioned. Yes, more than a dozen, 17 businesses to be specific, given those uh, cease and desist orders as of yesterday, including the landing restaurant off of Main Street here in El Cajon. Interesting because uh, not too long ago they were operating indoors. Now you see they're operating outdoors, setting up tents about two hours ago. Let's get you to this list right here, giving you a perspective on these businesses because the orders issued do include fitness facilities, places of worship, restaurants, also bars. So non-essential businesses were required to stop indoor operations beginning Saturday after the county fell into the purple tier. In fact, California now a sea of purple with 41 counties in the most restrictive tier. Staff posting the cease and desist orders on the county website yesterday evening after the county leaders urged San Diegans to help stop the spread of the virus. Now, the county will be issuing, we're told, more orders to local businesses for failure to comply. Now, if businesses continue to ignore the public health orders, officials will issue closure orders. You know, you can certainly look to states all over the country that are contemplating much more draconian actions than what we're doing here. What we're doing here is saying, hey, indoor dining and gyms, you know, you got to take a little pause. There are certainly places that are looking at much more drastic things, and that's what we're trying to avoid. And, and if we can turn the corner and we can slow the spread, then hopefully we can avoid being in a situation where we have to do more because none of us want to do that. Yeah, back out live here in El Cajon. Remember, too, you can report anonymously businesses 